if they haven't made their intentions clear about marriage and marrying you, stop giving these guys children. Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It is your boy, Perry Walker, and I'm just going to get straight into this because you know what I'm about. I want to address this baby mama thing again. No, I'm not going to use the same old tired talking tropes of baby mama's a trash. No, I'm not going to do that. I've never, ever done that. But I want to address this from a fatherly point of view like I've had before. And some of my past videos were met with mixed feelings by some of the young ladies. Some of them probably thought I was being harsh or judgmental or pointing the finger at them. I thought I was being very objective. I really came from a point of view of warning them. And some of the comments I received was like, why don't you tell the men to stop making baby mamas? Now, I've yet to meet a man that can get pregnant. Now, I do address young men about being honorable men, but the reason why I address the young ladies because in our community, the vast majority of young ladies are single parents. And I'm not blaming you, but I have to address this issue because you have the right to say, yay or nay when it comes to a man having access to your body. Now, I'm a Christian. I believe in marry before you carry, and I don't believe in sex before marriage, but I do understand that in the world that we live in today, that's just not happening. But it never ceases to amaze me how I see a lot of young ladies get themselves entangled in this messy situation. They get with a young man, the young man don't even commit to any type of marriage or anything, and they give children to these young men. That Some of them have had several children with a man that, that has not even given them the hint or intentions of marrying. And what usually happens is either they break up or the young man says something along the lines of, I'm not ready to be in a committed relationship, be a father, but I'll be there for my kids. Still, that doesn't negate the fact that this is a problem. And young ladies, honestly, you have the power to stop it. Now, if you'll just give me an ear, again, I'm not judging you. And I want to use Haley Bailey's circumstance or example in this. Now, this young lady had the privilege of playing a historical Disney character, being the first African-American woman to play to The Little Mermaid. And she looks like she came from a good upbringing. She had very good parents. Her parents were very watchful. I'm not saying they were perfect. No parent is perfect and no child is perfect. But she got herself involved with this young man. And again, I don't know a lot about this fella, DDG. I, I take it, well, I've heard somewhere that he's a rapper and a famous content creator. The situation follows the same pattern as a lot of situations like this. From anyone from the Nick Cannons to the Cam Newtons and now him and many others, right? They give with these young ladies. And a lot of them have multiple children by these young ladies, and they do not have any intentions on marrying them. But still, these young ladies, knowing this, have full awareness that these young men haven't promised them any type of commitment other than, baby, you know I love you, or whatever they talked about, only for their relationship to end. Now, some of them, like she has said, that they still remain good friends or whatever. I don't know what that means because here's, here's the kicker. She's going to be the one raising this child, right? And I'm not saying he's not going to come see the child, but still she has just placed herself in the category of being another baby mama or a single mother. And the talking points online from those that are normal folks like myself up to very prominent men is that, do not get involved with a single mother. And a lot of these men put single mothers under the same umbrella or in the same basket. They deem a lot of these young ladies as women that have absolutely no character, right? And they should not be dealt with because they gave their best to someone else and that they're left over. And some has, have even gone as far as saying that women like, a Halle Bailey, or for the streets. Now, 
I know that's not true. Looking at this young lady, how she shakes and moves, I could tell that she's not ratchet. She doesn't follow the example of Sexy Red, at least I hope she don't follow the example of Sexy Red, or any of those type of women that live these ratchet lifestyles, right? But still, she has allowed herself to be put in a situation. Now, what's going to come along with that? Right now, everything appears to be kind of sort of normal, right? No one's really saying anything. But with a lot of these celebrities, they put a lot of their lives on display. I don't know why they do that, but they just do, right? And I'm not saying that she's going to do it, but quite possibly she may do that. When she gets back out there and want to start dating, if she hasn't gotten her head right or did some self-reflection, some healing therapy, whatever she needs, she could possibly put herself through the same cycle, attracting guys that don't really have any intentions or don't have, no, really, don't have any intentions of wifing her up. Just look at her as someone that they're going to be with, be together with, have sex with, and she could possibly have another baby by someone else. And then that'd be two or maybe three. And then the talking points start if they haven't already started. Man, don't mess with that woman. She got kids. Women with kids aren't valuable. Because that's the talking point. <sighs> it's just a doggone shame. Ladies, ladies, when are you going to stop falling for this trap? When are y'all going to stop falling for these dudes making these promises to you guys? I know it may appear that they're loving and they're caring and that they care about you, and maybe they do at the moment. I'm not saying that they don't, but if they haven't made their intentions clear about marriage and marrying you, stop giving these guys children. Stop it. And I know, I know, who cares what someone says about you as long as you, your own woman, and you're taking care of your kids, you care less what these people say. I get that. I get it. But even if you give this child all the financial backing and everything, there's still a disadvantage. This child may have all the money, all the resources, but he's still not going to have the benefit of growing up with both mommy and daddy under the same roof in a loving relationship. All I'm saying is we need to stop in the black community of denying this right to the children. If you don't plan on marrying the guy, stop having sex with the guy. Don't have sex with the guy. Don't do it. And again, if he hasn't said, I want to marry you, keep them panties locked. But I understand that a lot of young ladies aren't going to do that. No, I didn't do it when I was young. I did not have the knowledge that I have today. I didn't have anyone mentoring me, telling me, teaching me how to be a honorable young man. I had no one showing me that. So I'm shaked and moved according to me, what me and my friends talked about and what was supposedly the social norm. And a lot of these young men out there today from normal guys like myself to wealthy elites, they are not getting the skills on how to be honorable men. They are taking their cues from their social surroundings. And if their social surroundings are not wholesome, and if their social surroundings are not built upon integrity, honesty, and being a great person, then you're going to get mixed results. You're going to get what a lot of these women that end up having kids by these dudes. Look at all three, what, Cam Newton has three baby mamas. The first one gave him three children. And then what dumbfounds me is the women that came after her, knowing that he fathered three, I think three children or four children. I can't remember. These Negroes are having children everywhere. All these children and these girls are still lining up to be with these dudes. And, and the question hasn't came to their mind or from their lips to even ask, why didn't you commit? If she was good enough to have babies by, why didn't you commit? And then 
a question I have is what makes you think that he's going to commit to you? What makes you think that guys that have children by other women and they're not committed to is going to commit to you? It's just crazy. So, look, I'm a father. I'm a grandfather. I, I, I spoke to my daughters like this. They didn't always listen to me. They didn't always listen to me at all. Trust me. And I speak to my granddaughter about this, and she tells me, Paul, Paul, leave me alone. But I have to. Now, I don't take the approach of sex is bad. No, I said sex is beautiful. Sex is honorable. But it's better between a husband and wife. If the man has not made any intentions of marrying or wifing you up, you need to not give up your most precious thing because a lot of guys will flip on you after they get the sex because most guys are not looking at sex from a point of view of this is a girl I want to spend the rest of my life with. They look at it from a point of view of this is someone I want to gratify myself with and have some fun with for however long I want to have fun, and then I'm going to move on to the, to the next one after I'm done with her. Or until she starts putting demands on me, and if she starts putting demands on me, then I'm just going to push her to the side, whether she has children or not. Because in their minds, like if you have a kid, that's on you. If you have a baby, that's on you. Crazy thinking. But that's how a lot of these dudes think. Now, there are some honorable men out there. So, my brothers, if you come across this video, don't go all red pill and MGTOW on me. No, I'm not just pointing my fingers at you because I know that there are some, some women that are misbehaving and some ladies that do try to trap dudes into having babies and stuff. But this is not what I'm talking about. All I'm saying is to you young ladies, you guys need to stop giving your bodies away to men that are not committed to you in marriage. You need to stop it. Or else what you're doing is heaping on yourself a bunch of trauma. Depending on how that relationship goes, you are just heaping on yourself a bunch of trauma. And you could pass that trauma on to your children. Ladies, listen to me. Listen to this fatherly advice. Listen to this wise advice. Stop giving your bodies away to men you're not committed in marriage to. Stop having children with men you're not married to. Now, I'm going to leave you with this. Proverbs 4.23, it says, Watch over your heart with all diligence, for from it flows the springs of life. You need to guard that heart. I'm not saying being paranoid or anything like that. If you contaminate your heart with all these traumatic situations, right, then how you see life is going to be seen out of a traumatic, toxic lens. And then you could be one of them women that says, all men are dogs, men are trash. And you'll be one of them women that tells your daughter, you don't need a man. All because you allow someone to come in there and contaminate your heart and your view on things that are good. It's good to have children. It's good to have sex. But it's good when you're married, not when you're not married. And that's all I have. And if you found any value in this, give me a thumbs up so that I could get a slight boost in that YouTube algorithm. And if you are really interested in my content, you can watch more of my videos. It's up in any one of those corners up there. And if you want to take it a step further, subscribe to my channel so that you could watch more of my amazing content. So until the next time, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.